And welcome back, guys, to part two of the DLC Riverboat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and talk to the dude. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give it all set at the end, and let's get on with it. So, my hero, think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time. Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a real number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. Not a fucking clue. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Damned if I know, it was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. None of it would be useful to a bunch of crazed inbreds. I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. I'm here on my own business. You wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. I'm gonna do what I came to do, and then get the fuck out of here. They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? So here's the deal. I help you get in with those tribals, you help me get what I want, and I'll make you fucking rich. Just try not to sprain a lobe while you're thinking about it. My time is short. You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Those mud lovers want me dead, and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune, and figure out what's going through their addled little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. These are people who think cutting a hole in their skull can expand their mind. They're not exactly scholars over there. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet.
Greetings once again, young... And what is it you would like to purchase? Of course, I learned many tricks from my father. I knew that's why you came to me. Well, hello there. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Haley's Hardware, where we have hardware. No, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. They mostly trade meat and fruit. Never any cash or goods. The mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. Oh, you're thinking... No, no, it's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple of years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. I found some of it. Some was here when I got here. 
I got some from the Mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. That's what I'm here for. Sure as a swamp folk's head is squishy. Look around, it's all here. Welcome back to Haley's Hall. There's not much to tell. Anyways, let's see here. All right, 12 minutes, so we hit about 20 minutes. And this, I'm gonna keep in three minutes first, best I can. Okay, I'll move this. No, it's something else. What is that? I don't know what it is, I need to load up. But this is a nice little break for uh, uh, why do I call the American Manifest? I don't want all these gloves in the background.
truly this is a glorious day. You are from far away, and must be strong indeed to have traveled this far. But strength is nothing without the guidance of the enlightened mind. If you seek entry, you must be prepared to expand your consciousness. You must prove yourself worthy to transcend. You may not be so brave when you face the ritual of the Mother Seed. Stronger souls than you have attempted it, and lost their minds. Venture west to the Great Bog, and within you shall find the Mother of all Punga Fruit. She stands taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Collect her seeds, and kneel before her wisdom. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. So I get back in the groove of the fight. This stuff came out. Cowboyer. Seeing anything of actual interest, so what is this one?
Anyway, let's see what this takes 21 minutes. So, thank you guys for watching the part two of the DLC, and I'll see you again in another 20 minutes.